Raymond, I just picked up the 4C. This thing is nasty. So we're sitting over here, we're gonna go grab some food, park near a curb, and this is the most fun part, is literally trying to get out of this car is kind of insane. All right, Raymond's gonna come help open the door. All right, let's do this. Oh yeah, there we go. Woo! Grabbing some food. No better place to be than to see the car. We got our food here. We got the tea. We're gonna dig into this and go for a cruise. All right, in we go now. <clears throat> gonna watch that curb again. And get it in, on so bad. Yeah, it's getting out. Get your feet in. All right, we're in. Let's go. Finally found a place to put my phone and wallet. <laughs> Stop by my friend V shop at VP Automotive. Come check him out right off uh, Riverside over here. Some of the cars that are hanging out out here. We got this, this prelude is beautiful. It's a little project car him and his son are working on. The interior, I wish you guys could really just see that. These bucket seats are so cool. Really, really cool car. It's got a little carbon fiber hood on it too right now. Cruised over with the, uh, the Alpha as this video is surrounded by this car today. This, this S2K is clean as hell, bro. Look at this thing. Man. Yeah, you can't, you can't beat a clean S2K. We got Vinny's car over here. And Shaq, uh, Shaq just got a service done on his LS400. So that's chilling over here too. Big things coming for this car though. Can't wait for you guys to see that. But if you guys are ever passing by and need some work done, come stop by VP Automotive. Yo, what's up guys? So we're cruising to my house now and we're gonna go put the carbon fiber canards on the front of the car. So stay tuned. I'll show you guys kind of the process and what it's gonna take to put those on, but I'll see you when we get there. All right, so we're out here with the Alpha now. We just got back to my house. We have the carbon fiber canards we're gonna put on the front of the car. They're actually for a Lotus Evora, but we're gonna make them work on the 4C. We have some weather stripping that's gonna go on the back to fill in any gap. We're gonna measure it out, make our marks, and drill it, in the, drill it into place. So this is a pretty simple install. Basically, we just have some 3M tape on the back sides, and we're just kind of test fitting it to see where we like it, where we're gonna wanna put it. But once we once we figure it out, we'll take our measurements and we'll make it even on both sides. But just uh, just trying to get a good feel for it. It definitely, it definitely makes it look like it's got some whiskers, but it's pretty cool. All right, guys, so I'm sorry to bring you on this wild goose chase with us, but we've been playing around with the placement of the canards, and we just don't think it looks right. They're both in different sections. We've just been moving them around. Kind of looks like it gives the car some whiskers, so stay tuned for a future video where we're instead, we're going to install one single canard. And my stepfather is finally taking out his truck for the spring. Still kicking it with Travis's truck right now. We got the black four x four right here. Ramey's car sitting over here. We're like I said, we're gonna go work on cleaning up the purple truck. I'll show you guys the status with that right now. All right guys, so after we played with the Alpha for a little bit, I, I played with uh, whether or not I was gonna put those last clips in, but I figured I'd just take you guys along with me and see the realism and the journey. But here we are with the purple truck. We're gonna be bringing it back to the frame shop it, uh, as you can see, it needs to get bumped over quite a bit. They were they were really kind about wanting to make things right and work it out with me. This middle piece is supposed to sit inside this groove. Same with here. So you can see we're quite a bit off still. So once we have our engine fan on here with our fan shroud around it, it nothing would line up properly. So I'm gonna be cleaning this thing up today and getting it ready for the tow truck to come pick it up on Friday. Yo, we got Travis coming to hang out. Still loving the lip on the back of this truck. Oh, wing. She. Yo, what up, G? What up, homie? Gonna go hang out, mix up food. So we're out here with the truck now. We got our jack underneath it. We're gonna jack it up and get it off the jack stands. 
right over here. Got to put some air in the tire, but then it'll be good to be picked up by the tow truck. I'll just push it out to here. We moved the Monte Carlo into another bay. So I just got to move the plow truck. And I mean, even then the tow truck will probably hook to it right here and pull it up a flap at no issue. And I got to clean up the tools. But I'm going to clean up the tools and drop this on the ground. Well, there we are. We've gotten everything cleaned out under the hood. Everything is strapped down. This is not going anywhere. And uh, like I said, everything's tied up. So all I got to do now is I'll either leave it here. I think the tow truck can just literally hook a winch to it, no issue. Or I'll pull it out to right here. I can push it out myself and have the tow truck hook up to it. But man, really, really wish I didn't have to bring it back. We would be a lot further into this. And my, my you know, goal of having it done by May 1st would have been a lot more feasible. I don't think it's going to be done in time for some of the season openers, but hopefully IFO May 15th. So we'll, we'll see how it goes, but really excited to get this thing on a tow truck. Well, all right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. The tow truck's going to come grab this truck and I'm going to call it here for today's vlog. If you want to see some more car content, don't forget to like and subscribe. We have friends with a variety of different cars. Everything is always exciting on this channel. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see y'all soon. Thanks for watching.